Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you a package that can help you with Laravel APIs. This is called Laravel API Toolkit, pretty old package, a few years old, and it was created by Ahmed Essa. And this package is called the Toolkit because it has a few tools to help your APIs. So if we go to official documentation of this package, we can find that it can simplify the responses with something like response success, also offers dynamic pagination, also offers filters like this and let me show that in action first let's take a look how it handles response success for example after store method you may or may not like the structure that this package provides but let me show you so to return some text with some data you just do response success and if we do exactly that from postman we send and we get the response like this so message the text that you provided, then this becomes the data inside, and then on top it also returns status 200. I'm not sure, it's kind of the same as HTTP status code, but maybe some front-end clients are used to having status here, which leads me to the example of error response. So for example, if you want to respond with some bad request, in this case it's 400 status code, we launch that, and this is the result. Errors status, title and detail are those texts from here and it also returns 400 bad request this is all powered by a trait that you can add to your controller to the main controller of laravel or you can do that to separate controllers and inside of that api response trait you have all those methods to streamline your responses this is the list of all available methods in the documentation so success with 200 status code and others in the list but to be honest the structure returned is debatable i'm not sure i would return status as text as part of the json but probably much more useful part of that toolkit is called api generator the usage is pretty simple you do api generate pass model name and then for example dash dash all will generate you a bunch of files related to the api let me show you so in the terminal i run something like this for the post model which doesn't exist yet and if i do dash dash all here's the list of files that were generated or edited so it's creating the full crud or its structure with those responses by the way that you saw a minute ago and let's take a look inside so in routes api we have a new route api resource with comments i'm not sure about those before and after then we have a controller inside of that controller empty constructor also not sure about that but then index and other methods actually use the functions from that package so filters dynamic paginate response created response success response deleted and others then it also automatically generates eloquent model migration so we can open post table so a lot of placeholders for you to fill in the actual fields for the model everywhere so this function from api toolkit i would find useful because you can quickly create a crud with all the features that said you should use it probably if you like the structure of that package or you can get used to it maybe it wouldn't be the same as your personal style how you would create apis or you can of course make manual changes afterwards because the controller is public not in vendor or anything but it could potentially speed up the creation of your api what do you think? I will link the repository of that package as well as the documentation in the description below, as well as the link to my newest reshot refilmed course about API, where I have a separate lesson useful packages and API toolkit is one of them. So you can find more useful packages in the course, as well as other information, how to create Laravel API. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.